In this tutorial, we will teach you how to use the Adaptative Wide Angle in Adobe Photoshop CS6. In this tutorial, we will be working on two different documents to show you how to work with the Adaptive Wide Angle. The first document we have is of a wide angle image. All we need to do is go to our layer, right click on the thumbnail, and convert our layer to Smart Object. Then go on the Filter menu and click on Adaptive Wide Angle. Once done, the Adaptive Wide Angle box appears. We already have the Constraint tool selected by default. Therefore, all you have to do is click where you think the angle needs to be fixed and then drag it to where it should end. Photoshop will by default create the exact constraint line for you. Press Enter and it will correct the angle. We do not have any other corrections to make, so we will just press OK, get our Crop tool to crop the image, and are good to go. The next document we'll be working on is a panoramic image. This particular image does not need any extensive corrections other than it needs to have a U-shape. In order to work on it, we need to first combine all these layers into one. Press Ctrl, Alt, A to select all the layers. Click on the drop-down menu on the top right corner of the Layers panel and select Convert into Smart Object. Then you will get the Adaptive Wide Angle filter. Make a point at one side of the U-shape and then click where it ends. Grab this square box, drag it down a bit, and then hit Enter. If you think that the angle has been fixed, then press OK to return. Select the Crop tool and crop the image. Photoshop will take a few seconds to get that done. You would have noticed that if you don't crop the corners of the sky, the outlook of the panorama would get spoiled. Now fill in the corners of the sky by using the Content Aware Fill, but that only works on a pixel layer, so we will make a copy of our Smart Object layer by pressing Ctrl J. Then go to the Layer menu, drop down to Rasterize, and then select the Smart Object option. Now to select the corners of the image, we will press Ctrl, click on the thumbnail of the layer, go to the Select menu, and click on Inverse. Select some extra pixels for the Content Aware Fill by going to the Select menu again, dropping down to Modify, clicking on Expand, and in the field given, entering around 25 pixels. Finally, go on the Edit menu and click on Fill. When the dialog box appears, make sure that you've selected the Content Aware Fill. Photoshop will copy the pixels and repeat them inside the selection for us.